right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a thermometer. So this is a thermometer. It's a tool that we can use to measure the temperature of different objects or different spaces. So here is the tip of the thermometer, this right over here. This is the part that you place on whatever you're trying to measure the temperature of. And the red is called mercury. Mercury is inside of our thermometer. And what happens is, remember, um, temperature measures the average kinetic energy of the particles and measures how quickly or slowly the particles are moving around. So what happens is if the thermometer touches something very, very hot, then the thermal energy from the hot object is going to come and move, transfer to the mercury, and these mercury particles are going to start to move faster and faster, and they're going to need more space. So then the mercury over here is going to start to move up, 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 because the particles in the mercury are moving faster since there's more thermal energy, and that's why the number of the temperature is going to increase. So for example, right now, here in this jar, I have hot water. So if I put this inside the hot water, I'll show you what happens to the mercury. So as you can see, the red mercury is going up. It's increasing because the temperature of the hot water is being measured. And remember, hot water has particles that are moving around very fast. So as thermal energy from the hot water is transferring to the mercury in this thermometer, it creates, it makes the particles in the mer mercury move around faster and they start to expand and take up more space. So that's why that red mark, that red mercury moved up. So here's how you can measure the temperature. So the temperature of this hot water right now is slightly above 100. So it's around 100 and, let's see, one hundred and around 106 that's the temperature of this hot water so now if I take my thermometer off and I put it on this ice cube what do you think will happen well remember the particles in the mer in the mercury of our thermometer they're going to start to lose thermal energy to the ice because the ice is colder so as the mercury particles in the thermometer start to lose thermal energy to the ice cube they're going to move around less and less and less so then they're going to take up less space so then the red mark should start to go back down because they're taking up less space so let's see if that's what happens so i'm going to place the tip on our ice cube and here's the red line let's watch what happens so you see the red line is dropping because the particles in the mercury, the red, is moving less and less as they lose thermal energy to the ice cube. So it's losing energy to the ice cube and it's moving less and less. That's why it's taking up less space and the red line is going to keep dropping. it's still starting to drop more it's slowing down a little bit the particles in the mercury the red line they're losing thermal energy so they have less kinetic energy so the mercury is taking up less space inside of our thermometer All right it looks like it's about to stop moving so right now the temperature we're gonna say is around 50 degrees so when it stops right there that's going to be around 50 degrees and why is that the case well you know that in ice the water particles in ice they're not moving around that much they're only vibrating side to side because they have less kinetic energy and remember thermometers the temperature measures the kinetic energy of the particles so if the particles are moving around less then the temperature should be a lot less so it is still dropping, so temperature is a lot less because the particles in the ice cube are moving around with less kinetic energy as opposed to the hot water.